family. I am honored to be one of the keynotes for the Open Education Conference this year. I think it's particularly special to me as we reflect back on 20 years of meeting in this capacity, discussing how, you know, for example, how we as a community can make education more accessible, affordable, equitable, and inclusive to everyone regardless of their backgrounds. I have been particularly impressed with how our community is thinking about uh, how open education can be used as a pathway for social justice in open education. In our desire to create a more socially just open education, which of course speaks to education more broadly, I'd be more remiss if we didn't take the time to more clearly define what do we mean by a socially just open education? Do we have a shared vision of this? And more important, or more importantly, what are the new pathways towards this that we were not able to previously imagine? So these days I'm thinking a great deal about the binary ways that we might imagine social justice and liberation. So for example, oftentimes in social justice spaces and conversations, there is a tendency to police activism as if there is only one way to engage in social justice or activism, especially in the uh, education space. This ends up reproducing this mono thinking or ends up producing binary approaches that don't actually get us to liberatory futures. So there have been times where even I was guilty of reproducing this rigid binary in my ongoing uh, struggle for social justice as a scholar and just plain human being. So in this keynote, I'd like to share another perspective, a perspective that is rooted in post-oppositionality, which considers how we can hold space for multiple pathways towards liberation and justice. Oppositional consciousness, which is very common in higher education and social justice spaces and rhetoric, can get us really locked into holding space for only one perspective or reinforce this oppressed versus oppressor binary. But is there another way to imagine our solutions? How do we hold space for the contradictions and commonalities as we consider social justice in open education? I am very excited to have a deeper conversation and discussion about the interconnectivity that is necessary for liberation.